Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. All right, so let's go ahead and tune your energy. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. So glad to have you guys today. Aries, we're pulling the number one for the Aries card. And we also have this card over here, Hidden Beauty. It's number 45. So those are our cards and just a real quick reminder i am available for personal readings at this time and so if you want to get in on a reading with me all my information is down there in that description box below and for those of you that are new to the channel make sure before you leave to like share and subscribe to my channel all right okay my intuitive healer tarot family I got a lot of great things coming up for you guys, so you need to stay tuned. Today I will be reading from a deck that I created. And also stick around till the end of the video because I will be pulling cards for any of you out there that have lost a loved one. There's some messages from the other side. All right. All right. So let's drop into a prayer. Ascended masters, angels and guides, record keepers, those who have crossed over, please guide us the highest and best messages for the sign of Aries, please and thank you. All right, so we have flow. All right, this is going to really be in direct relation with this hidden beauty card here um, because there are a lot of factors here that are really really in alignment and so this is the go with the flow card and i am just going to tell you that you're really being divinely guided right now that's why this flow card comes in this hidden beauty card as well really talks about you know looking deeper within um, seeing the bigger picture of things and having a more beautiful perspective on life. It's also a card of reassurance and it affirms and nourishes you in situations that are really, really hard for you at this time. So that hidden beauty card is allowing you to just kind of flow into the unknown, right? I think we're all flowing into the unknown right now. And we are learning a lot more about ourselves when it comes to communication. And so these communication skills come in and wrap around our heart and they protect us and they surround us in love. And I think Aries that um, this greater perspective of the future is really, really going to allow us to be a better version of ourselves. All right, angels, please guide me to more messages. Ooh, let's try this one more time. Sometimes I drop the cards. Um, so one of the other things that I'm feeling here also is that when we are asked to change our perspective on the situation, I think that things start arising and coming up that were intended for us. Things that we need to be aware of. Um, and it creates, you know, this energy surrounding fulfillment. And it also allows us to have joy in a lot of areas of our life. And so the perspective here really comes down to the fact that we are in a space of the unknown and we're kind of scared but sometimes that unknown space is flow and then look flow drops us into self-love and then it also gives love in relationships and partnerships so for those of you aries out there that are wanting that love bug spell you know, we are going to have some commitment coming in here. 
And it says, my commitments increase my joy and freedom. And I think that's a good thing, especially in the unknown. You really don't want to know what the future holds, do we? Sometimes it's better just to see what happens, right? Even though as humans, we go into the space of really having to know what's happening. So... I think that it's good for us to be in an open space of receiving the gifts from the universe. Strengthens the path of our inner, helps us to radiate and become a beacon of light and support and lead other people. Wow, this is beautiful, Aries. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna pull my Zentero here. Let's dive a little bit deeper in here. It's interesting when we get these cards that try to expose our parts that we've been trying to hide. There's this hidden beauty that comes up out of nowhere. And it surprises us because we're in a manifestation energy. And that's exactly where we need to be, right? Going with the flow. Going with the tides. Being mature in the situation. Gaining that inner knowledge. Creating some inner wisdom. And then we're more able to listen to that inner guidance. It's helping us all the time. It allows us to look beyond the matrix, beyond the illusion of what we think is real. Sometimes our perceptions of things can be carried just because we were hurt in a bad situation. Going into a newer situation, we might not see that there's a possibility of something better. So we have to shift. We have to forgive ourselves and forgive others. And flower, bloom, find love right around the corner. So Aries, this looks really good. You're letting go of projections from the past, things that you thought. Now you're willing to compromise with the situation, bloom into who you're supposed to be with that flowering card, forgiving, letting go, transforming, a gentle space for you to land. Contracts are completed. Look at this. We've got completion and healing. So all of the stuff that happened in the past, completed, done. Healing time is now the next thing. Letting go of the past. Letting go of what we think we need to hold on to. Okay? All right, I'm gonna pull a couple more cards here. I need to get a little bit more information. Please and thank you, angels. Blessed be. All right, postponement. So, being disappointed in the past, things are changing. Things are changing. Even though that comes out, that's for your awareness. That's like, you know what? Stuff in the past didn't work out for you. Well, look, we've got change popping out. All these cards flew out at once. Changing the burdens of the past. Going into the unknown. Going into playfulness. Going into success. That's what I see here. Going with the flow. You just had a flow card earlier. 
let's get into my deck that I have made and see how severe it is. Oof. Sometimes these pop out and it's like, wow. On top of the world, we are not seeing the severity of the past. We are letting go. We are seeing something better. Some of you guys may be creating a new living space somewhere, maybe remodeling the house, or you might be just creating a new living arrangement. Maybe for you to free yourself from a toxic partnership so that the prosperity can flood in. Because that's what that Hidden Beauty card is all about. We do have a financial abundance and can't stand for us to be apart. Here's where the love comes in. Where are we headed? I'm telling you, it's looking good here, Aries. It is beautiful. So good. Got two sets of lovers cards. Amazing. <laughs> no more being underwater financially. That's done. Financial abundance is here. And you're done talking with people that are not in alignment with you. It's okay. Sometimes we have to sever our our you know losses and move on and be happy and love people from afar all right so let's see what kind of messages we have from our loved ones that have passed over i really feel like it's a male that's coming in here i feel something around his head and his jaw so i'm not really sure what that is but i definitely am feeling like a deep clo closeness feels like a father to me says i wish i had told you more often how much i love you we have been together in dreams so they've been dreaming of you you've been dreaming of them there is no time where i am time is only on earth This individual, I think, was having some kind of memory issues um, that I think were there very present as well. So if that kind of resonates with any of you Aries out there, cross watcher, I definitely am feeling like this person is a lot happier where they're at because we do have it is beautiful where I am. And so I think that maybe this would have been a really hard uh, process of transitioning I do feel that this person had some regret that there were some things and some you know memories that maybe needed to be shared one more time um, but now that they passed things are better they're not in pain and we are just in loving memory of them okay so my heart reaches out to whoever has lost that father that grandfather that was really close that that resonates with all right i want to get into some love i want to check this out i want to see what's the love deal going on here all right come on angels give me some definite messages on some love stuff here make me understand the past and the future please and thank you all right i think those are it all right we do have as the, the very last card dropped out past life relationship it says you guys have known each other before um, for those of you that are trying to get out of a partnership right now, I think that there was some co codependency happening. Um, and now that those addictions were there, you know, um, I think that we've changed and we've settled for less than what we deserve. And now the universe is bringing in the things that we do deserve. And that's why this hidden beauty comes in and it allows you to end a contract because we did get that contract ending card. And that's what I feel is that now these other two cards over here, attraction and playfulness. Well, I think that that is a good recipe for some great loving, you guys. 
and those lovers cards that came out well that to me just kind of solidified that situation so very soon somebody will be showing up here and we also have this ending that contract unrequited love there's not enough attraction that could have sustained you guys in that because there's something better coming and the doors of opportunity and love are right here for you aries so i'm super excited about this if you guys want to dive a little bit deeper in here and you want to maybe get some more messages from a loved one or see where your love life is going all my information is down there in that description box below on how to book a reading with me I love you, Aries, and I see some great things in your future, but you have to believe them as well. Also, before you guys leave, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? So you'll be notified when my new videos and my new stuff comes up. Also, I would like to uh, put my invitation out there for anybody that would like to become a member of my channel. And I will be posting information very soon on how to do that. All right, Aries, love you guys so much. Namaste.